Hey, what's going on? This is Jamar Jones, and this is the Forever Podcast, where we talk about business and things that are personal, because business is personal. We got a special episode here today as we're diving into hiring, maybe a little bit of firing, but also about business operations um, as we got Dan Cortez here from C2 Staffing, uh, and, you know, to really talk about, uh, he's more in the creative space as far as really being a support and a resource uh, for others and for other businesses that are really looking to um, get some of uh, increased marketing help, uh, creative, web, uh, all different, all different aspects of creative. Uh, but Dan, go ahead and introduce yourself. Let the people know what's going on in your life. Yeah. Thanks for, for having me first and foremost. Um, yeah. This is my first podcast, so uh, <laughs> forgive me if I'm all over the place, but um, so happy to be here. Yeah. Dan Cortez. Um, I represent uh, C2 Staffing in Milwaukee. Um, C2 Staffing is uh, Milwaukee's first dedicated creative staffing agency. Um, so we've been doing this for uh, 17 plus years. And so um, we have a great network of creative professionals throughout the area um, that are, are, are experts in their field. Um, and so where we're able to provide um, great assistance to our clients and people that need support um, are, are by connecting them with the right people that have um, the skill sets and the qualifications and the expertise. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I mean, what other staffing company do you know that's doing things like this, you know? <laughs> Just, just out of the box, you know, how do you network? How do you actually build relationships with people? Mm. And that's what Dan's all about. So today, I got something on top of my mind that I want to talk about. Uh, and it's in both of our worlds mm. as far as uh, within marketing in particular. Mm. Is that, you know, we're, we're a, a media agency, sales and marketing. And we hear this all the time where companies will try to hire one marketing professional, so either a marketing manager or director, and they think that's going to solve all their marketing problems, <laughs> every single one of them, and they want that person just to do everything under the sun. So they also want them to, you know, be a video production specialist. They want them to be uh, social media management, give us content, uh, work on our website, have our blog post done, you know, our newsletter, make sure you're communicating with clients. I mean, it's uh, be an events uh, coordinator as well. I mean, just the list goes on and on and a on. A unicorn. Yeah, a unicorn, right? <laughs> and, and then what happens is that, you know, the expectation level is just so high that, you know, once they hire this person and then they, you know, maybe after six months to a year, they're like, man, what, you know, why are things maybe not moving? Or maybe it's just moving at a slower pace than what they thought mm. um, that it could move. Then they're at this point of like, well, what's next? What do we do? And that's why I wanted to talk with you about when is it a good time for an organization to hire and how do you go about that? Yeah, I'd say probably when um, there's specific skills um, or things that you're looking for, things you're looking to do. Um, with with COVID, um, a, a lot of people started going to digital you yep. know, initiatives. Mm -hmm. um, and so whether they had those people on site or they didn't, um, it, was, it was a challenge and a problem that they needed to solve quickly. Mm. Um, and so we saw, started seeing a lot of um, people coming to us seeking those, those skills and, and that expertise. Um, and so... I think that's 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 the um, the time uh, is when yeah, you're kind yeah. of over your head. Um, you're not exactly sure, um, you know, if, if your team can can support some of the projects or the initiatives that you have. Um, there's no harm in, in just reaching out and yeah. um, um, saying, you know, who do you have that might be capable of doing something like this? If we have them uh, within our roster, we have them within our network. We yeah. love to make an introduction. Um, sure. If we don't, um, we can we have a you know means of trying to find the right people. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, we keep full transparency and all that. And um, we want to make sure that, um, you know, you're, you're taken care of at the end of the day. Think of it, though, from like um, a hiring person's perspective. So mm -hmm. like when they're trying to say, OK, we need to hire a marketing person to come in here. There's no one here at the company that really knows how to do marketing. What are some of the top things they should be really thinking about when they're, because I mean, they try to do the catch all, you know, right. the full net, full net approach. Right. Um, but I know that we were talking um, 
And you guys actually ask a lot of unique questions, mm -hmm. you know, when it comes to like, what are they exactly looking for right. um, within that? So just talk a little bit about that aspect of it. Yeah, I think it comes down to just really prioritizing. Um, so like you had mentioned earlier, um, sometimes, you know, people are looking for somewhat of a unicorn and, and yeah. looking for everything. I like to just ask the, the question, you know, what's most important? Mm -hmm. you know, it'd be great to find someone that had um, all of the skills, but let's, let's, let's narrow down and step back a second and just mm -hmm. say, what's, what's most important? What's, what's initiative number one? And let's focus on that first. And then maybe so they have some of the softer skills or a desire to go into some of the other stuff. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And then we'll kind of align on those things later on. But yeah, for sure. Do, do, uh, do unicorns exist? They do. They do. <laughs> but they're in high demand. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah. when, when they do exist and we find them, um, you know, good freelancers, good people tend to keep themselves pretty busy. Um, and so um, the odds are they're, they're not able to take on more work and more projects. Um, so that's where we kind of come in and, and you know, make some soft introductions. Maybe have um, a desire or a little experience in some of yeah. those areas. And yeah. they can kind of grow into that role that they're envisioning, mm -hmm. um, you know, for for that person. Um, and if it's not working out, that's that's the beauty and kind of starting with us is we can kind of you know test and, and trial some people because right. um, there's nothing worse than a, a bad fit. You know, no one wants to work for a company that they're not happy yet with. And yes. so um, because yes. we're people first oriented, um, we're keeping an open line of communication all the way through with the clients and with the talent too. So just make sure that everyone's happy. Yeah. Everyone's, yeah. you know, getting the most out of the the situation. Um, and if things aren't working out, there's no hard feelings in that. It's, Hey, you know, this isn't really working out. This isn't the role that I thought it was. Mm -hmm. um, you know, let's, let's just part ways. Let's shake hands and, and part ways. Yeah. Um, and so um, there's nothing wrong with that. So use us as a resource, use us as a, a middleman. Initiatives um, that we need done, but then sometimes they'll just say, ah, we'll just take it internally. Um, and usually it's like one person, you know, and that's not really their expertise. That's why I really liked what you said about prioritizing, you know, what do you actually want in that individual? Uh, because yes, the unicorns exist, but it's better to have somebody that's really strong in a couple areas and then you know, really hire out the rest, you know, now, you know, we, we, like to always look at companies and say with their actual um, capabilities of especially like social media and creative you know like most companies don't have the firepower that an agency can bring when it comes to creative social media literally pumping out content at a rapid pace mm. like you need equipment you need expertise of how to do it mm. um, you need the manpower just like this the sheer manpower just to be able to take the content, turn it around quickly, and have somebody manage it, analyze it, and report on it. So there's a lot of aspects within it. And to have one person do all your content, you know, and they're in charge of the website and in charge of, you know, 50 other things, mm. it's just impossible. It's just funny that the mindset that sometimes like, oh, well, maybe they could do this. And then the thing is they try to, and they do the best job that they can, but it's always not to its fullest, you know, effort level because you're juggling so many things. Um, so I think prioritizing is really, is really huge. And one thing I, I think uh, I would like people to also get when working with you is it's okay when you're looking for an individual to kind of do your own research and homework on mm -hmm. things, but also it's okay to engage you guys as well to kind of be in tandem, right? You know, right along with, with the, on, on the journey. Because also you might save a lot of time and money when it is on like with searching, right? Hundred percent, yeah. And that's that's a conversation I like to try to have uh, yeah. frequently. Yeah. Is <laughs> is if you know you see a job posting online or something like that, someone's looking for a f very specific set of skills or something. Um, you know, I, I give them a call and, and say, you know, can we help you find this person? Yeah. Um, there's there's no you know obligation in, in working with us or anything mm -hmm. like that. It's 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 all about um, trying to find the right people and then tapping into the resources and the people that are willing to help you do that. Right. Right. <laughs> um, and, right. and kind of going along the lines of what you said earlier as well is, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's no harm in kind of having a consultation with an expert. Yes. And when we're able to connect people with people who really know what they're talking about, that really yeah. know their stuff, um, maybe someone sourcing for a um, video producer 
um, thinks they know what they're looking for, but then they have a consultation with a video producer and they tell them that you actually need four or five people yeah. or you need to also purchase <laughs> yeah. um, this hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. Yes. yes. Um, or you can work with me, a freelancer, and I can do yeah. all this stuff for you for this cost. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so I think there's a lot of value in just having those those conversations and being open to having that dialogue with with some experts. Yeah, for sure. And I think the that approach is just working smarter, not harder. Mm. And I think a lot of people just try to, in their own heads, they're moving so fast. Like a lot of times in business, you're just moving so quick. It's never hurts to just build a relationship. So if you're in a space, uh, honestly, if you have a business where, uh, or you're in charge of an organization that's in the creative space, definitely connect with Dan because you never know what that conversation, you're, what you're going to get out of it and the value. You know, and you never know when you're going to need them potentially. <laughs> so yeah. it's just good to connect with others. Um, I just had this conversation um, with one of our clients and, you know, a lot of people talk about targeted um, networking mm. and, you know, oh, well, don't only, only talk with the people and the individuals that you could potentially do business with. Mm. That's actually not true. You really should just talk with the individuals that really believe in you. Yeah. So the only way you're going to figure that out is by making a connection and trying it out first. Hmm. A lot of our best relationships are people that we don't directly do business with. Hmm. It's actually, it, but it becomes a, an a exceptional referral hub hmm. is what happens. And, yeah. and, that's, and that's one of the most amazing things. So even when you're looking at your staffing solutions, hmm. you know, a lot of people are like, oh, we're just gonna take this internally. We'll just do it ourselves. Why don't you just ask? <laughs> just ask. That's right. Figure out some, you know, some things that people, you know, other people know more than you, right. <laughs> you know, and ask those experts, ask them, because you've probably been down those roads before right. and you can, you know, give some insight. I, right. So what do you, what do you think just lastly, so what's a myth that's, that's kind of out there when it like trying to find this individual? Well, um, I think, you know, one of the things is kind of what we touched on a little bit earlier is that, um, you know, you can just create a job description and, and really just find um, the exact person that you're looking for. When really, I think it's about having kind of an open mind and having an idea as far as, you know, some of the vision or some of the, um, you know, initiatives that you're planning um, six months to a year out. Mm -hmm. um, and then kind of, you know, working backwards from there um, and then kind of trying to target, um, you know, someone based on their, um, their vision, um, some of the branding experience that maybe they bring, um, some of the, the work that they're able to, to kind of showcase, mm -hmm. um, and, and just kind of working it backwards and then kind of, um, aligning, um, you know, from a cultural, cultural standpoint. Uh, and so when, when we work with C2, um, what we try to do is, is, um, look beyond just the, the skill sets and the qualifications, but really just try to, um, align you, um, uh, you know, from a personality standpoint, yeah. you know, is this person yeah. going to fit here? Is this person going to um, love what they're doing? And is it kind of aligning with their career goals? Yeah. Culture, um, fit. culture fit. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Having a good culture fit, which um, a lot of staffing companies don't really do. Mm. Do they have any soft skills? Like any, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that was always such a, mm. such a pain point, you know, cause like on paper, yeah, people look great mm. on paper and then you get, you get them in there and about two weeks in, you're like, I can't even have a conversation with this person, you know? And it's like, yeah, they, they, they at least pass the interview with flying colors, but then it's like, you know, and then I'm like, well, where's the recruiter? Like what, what's going on? All of a sudden you can't even get a hold of them. They're just, they're already gone. They're we ghosts. were best friends last they're, week. Yeah. They were, we were best friends. You, you brought coffee, you brought donuts. We were best friends and now oh, I can't man. get a hold of you. And I think that's, that's a big, you know, a big part of it because culture is really everything. Um, yeah. And those soft skills is, is crucial personality character. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's kind of where we um, bring our value to is like, we try to do, you know, all those assessments to, to make sure that the resume kind of matches the, the skills and the qualifications yeah. that they say that they have. But uh, most of the interviews and things like that, that we do afterwards, it's, it's, it's about personality. It's like, you know, if you're you know interviewing someone from C2, Mm -hmm. you can you can trust that they have the skills and the qualifications that you're looking for yeah and now it's kind of you know trying to make a fit as far as you know, are you the right person for our yeah. team yeah so. for sure well cool man well thanks for being on uh it's been an awesome time just learning um your side of the world um yeah. and giving some of that insight where can people find you how can they connect with you yeah find me on linkedin uh daniel cortez with c2 staffing 
Um, we, we're also potentially having an event um, come mid July. It's mm-hmm. it's up in the air right now. Um, but uh, if if we're gonna do that, we'll be promoting that on LinkedIn as well. So keep an eye awesome. out for that. And awesome. we'd love for you to attend, um, have some drinks with us. Um, if there's casual. drinks on there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bring, there. yeah bring your friends. <laughs> and yeah, um, we'll, we'll hopefully be doing that. And uh, it'll be good to get back in person. So Awesome. Well, sounds good. Yeah. And, uh, you know, uh, we just like to provide a lot of insights and value um, here on the podcast. So if you have any questions, you know, please feel free. Uh, to send us a message, send Dan a message, and definitely get connected uh, with this guy. He can give you a lot of good insight, a lot of good expertise, and direction on where you want to go. So uh, until the next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe uh, to the channel, and follow us on all the streaming platforms. And we're out. Peace. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for more amazing content that we're going to be putting out. And don't forget, you can change your circle to change your life.